Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe, and where I'm right here in Tokyo, we're going to do another edition of the Ghost Hunters Report. Now I have something very interesting for you here. Recently, the a letter sent out to all the Japan's 86 national universities by Education Minister Hakoban Shinomura asked them to take active steps to abolish social science and humanity and to convert them to areas better served to meet society's needs. Now what is social sciences and humanities? These are basically um, the intellectual aspect of university study. Things like law, economics, philosophy, social work, you could even say journalism, literature, a whole slew of things. So what 17 I believe here, the report I have, uh, 17 of these universities I believe have taken steps to stop recruiting students in those departments. Now the Science Council of Japan put out a statement uh, to express its profound concern over the potentially grave impact of such administrative directive implies for the future of humanities and social science in Japan. Basically intellectual thought is under attack. Now this ministerial decree has affected many universities and a lot of universities are like I said stop recruiting, uh, cutting back on uh, funding for it, and taking steps to actually shut down these departments. Now interestingly enough, two universities are saying hell no to this. That's of course Tokyo University and Kyoto University. They're the top two intellectual universities in Japan. They're saying we're not going to do this. Uh, you can decree anything you want, but this is our university. We're not, we're not going to have this. I know it's look at a broader scope of this. Now, all of you who are educated human beings, and most people who subscribe to this little channel on mine are very educated people, very intellectual people, uh, and I believe to be somewhat radical people, know that a hallmark of fascism is to shut down intellectual thought and intellectual uh, culture within society. It's one of the first things they do. So this is a big concern. It should concern everyone here in Japan, everyone globally, that we have this attack on intellectual thought, the ability to be educated, the ability to think and to make a reason of the world around you, the ability to understand the world around you. See, it's a hallmark of fascism. We have, like I've said many times, a fascist government in Japan. Japan is, for lack of a better word, in a state of fascism. Look at all the things that are going on right now. We're remilitarizing. We're shutting down and attacking intellectuals at the universities. We are attacking labor law. All these things, you know, the state secrets law that says if you even ask a question that is deemed a state secret, even you don't know it's a state secret, you be locked in jail for a very long time. So all the things that Abe administration is doing is in line with fascism. And this is just one more thing that he's doing here in Japan. And you guys know who I am, you know what I'm about. You know what I'm involved in, you know the things I do. And I'm wondering, you know, as a human being here in my material conditions, you know, how much longer can I keep my cool? You know? How much longer, you know, can I not actively in a different way that I do now? engage in resistance to 
all things going on here because I often take a journalist approach I often take a Marxist think before action approach but there's got to come a point to where just shouting on the street and protesting has to evolve there has to come a point to where all of us here in Japan have to be more proactive, more aggressive in all of these things because it's clear the current tactics that are going on in Japan to kind of fight off all of this is not working because we have a bourgeois dictatorship in Japan. They make the rules. They decide for us the box of resistance we're going to have. And they ignore us. They put, it, put you in a box, tell you, resist this way, and then ignore you, not pay attention to you. And at the same time, dismantle you and attack you and further get rid of you, marginalize you. How far is Abe going to go? How far is this fascism going to go in Japan? I say it's going to go as far as people here in Japan allow it to go. You know, but I thought I'd make this video about this because this is something that's not getting any attention. No one's really talking about this. So I want to hear what you think about this. If you like this video, spread it around and get the word out about this. First time you see me, please subscribe. You get lots of things on this channel because lots of slew of extra stuff. So until next time, this is me, John Doe in Tokyo. Check it out.